Hi, everybody. It was a bit cool for us this morning, but you've got a nice mild afternoon for today. Let's show you what's up with exact track, and this is the big view. Not a whole lot going on. We had some early morning showers out there, but by sunrise, all that stuff was out of here. Mostly sunny skies for you this afternoon. Uh, front drapes across parts of the area tomorrow, so with that, maybe a little extra cloud cover, but outside of a stray shower over the bluegrass state, most of us should go through tomorrow rain-free. Let's call Wednesday transition day. There you go. There's a system that's headed our way. It may bring a shower in here, maybe even a thunderstorm Tuesday night, but a lot of Tuesday morning, not a lot going on, but into the afternoon Tuesday, we get showers to pop up, and then this is what we're going to watch for a Wednesday night and the Thursday showers and thunderstorms, and that's the leading edge of much cooler air that comes in here for the end of the week. For today, 70, tomorrow, 74, 76 on Wednesday, 6 63 Thursday, 49 Friday, 31 Friday night. Could be back below freezing again on Saturday night and then 52 for a high on Sunday. Our weather artist today is a second grader, Allison Jackson, a second grader in Miss Jean Atcox classroom at Westmoreland Elementary School. They've got spring break next week, and maybe Allison thinking about a little time down on the beach. So hello to everybody there and to Allison Jackson. Meanwhile, our school of the day, I got an email from Beth Johnstone. Beth is the principal over at Life Christian Academy, a brand new school. They go up to grade two this year and will add two more grades next year. So to everybody over at Life Christian Academy and to the principal over there, Beth Johnstone, we thank you so very much for starting your mornings with us. Thank you for stopping by newschannel5.com. Make it a fantastic day.